a Power Rangers team that travels through space, I'm not talking about in space or Lost Galaxy or Space Patrol Delta. Does that even count? Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Este here and welcome back to another video. And today we're explaining more Power Rangers teams that you may not know about. Today we'll be talking about the Solar Rangers, an exclusive ranger team that you can only find in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics. I'm so hyped and excited for this video. 1,000 likes and I'll bring you some more videos just like this one. And if you haven't subscribed and ring the notification bell, why haven't you? I upload Power Rangers videos every single week. So subscribe, ring the bell, you'll see more of this little face. Let's get right into the video. So what are the Solar Rangers exactly? Well, they got a real deep backstory. During Shattered Grid, after the destruction of the multiverse by Lord Draken through his godlike connection to the Morphin Grid and the Heart of the Master, the Power Rangers were trapped in the only reality, one of the evil Rangers own making. And even though they, you know, fixed the Shattered Grid or whatever, they're still stuck in this dimension that Lord Draken has made for them. After the eventual defeat and reclaiming of the Heart of the Master, the Rangers recreated the multiverse, but not before the emissaries cautioned them that the residual structural damage Draken caused to the space-time continuum would result in variables that would cause minor changes to reality. So even though they saved the day, things aren't really gonna go back to normal. It's still gonna be different. During the prior collapse of reality, Promethea was on a rescue mission to capture depowered rangers held on Draken's fortress. Once the world of the coinless began tearing apart as space and time was wiped away, Andros, that's right, Andros from Power Rangers in Space, stepped into action. He would try to command the crew and teleport the Promethea base away from the encroaching nothingness, coming towards them after rescuing the captors. The base manages to begin a teleport, but fades away into nothing as it does so. With no space or time to exist, once the multiverse was restarted, the Promethea rematerialized into existence and exited at a random vector from a teleport stream, badly damaged with sections of it on fire from the stress of the accelerated warp. Now, we're like two minutes in, where, where are the rangers at? And let me tell you, this team of rangers is absolutely amazing. It's kind of like once a ranger two, in a sense. Here are the five rangers that we're gonna be focusing on. Obviously, like I said, we have Andros, the red in space ranger. We would have Kimberly Hart, the Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger and Ranger Slayer. I made my own explained video talking about the Ranger Slayer and its history in Shadow Grid. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already. We also have Tanya, Zero Ranger 2, Yellow, Mike Corbet, Corbett? Corvette, Corvette, hop in the muffin jet like that. I'm out. Cameron Watanabe, the green samurai ranger, not you know, Mike from Samurai, Cam from Samurai, the other Samurai Green Ranger. There's two of them, if you don't know. And ultimately, Heckle, the Dino Charge Dark Ranger. What? Heckle actually became a Power Ranger? I know, very surprising. I did a whole video talking about how the Dark Ranger is not possible, but hey, it's the comics, and guess what? It was possible. After having their morphers reinforced by Dr. K of the RPM, universe i know we just got so many teams crossing over right now after having their morphers reinforced by dr k these past rangers took part in a mission to lord Draken's fortress to rescue capture rangers and was subsequently aboard the promethea when it was trapped in an unknown dimension known as the void now the void is a completely separate place from the universe and the space time continuum it's the void there's nothing in there. It's like Minecraft, the void. Any Minecraft players watching this right now, the void was scary, and this void, just as scary. While trapped in the Promethea for over four weeks, these morph capable rangers would find life aboard an unknown vessel and then find a mysterious ranger who stole power from Promethea. Now, who might this person be? We'll get to that in a second. In this part of the universe, there's no morphing grid energy, so the powers that they had as original Power Rangers wouldn't really last long. They had a few morphs left, but after that, it was boom, out of power. So what would they have to do? Find a new power source and become Power Rangers once again. So they had something called Solarix. Now, the Solarix is a mysterious artifact that allows people to become Solar Rangers. It utilizes vortex energy, which the void denizes term for the morphing grid energy and can drain more of its power to its user. So even if we have this Solarix, it can be much more powerful than the morphing grid is already, causing really powerful teams of rangers 
but also really big threats. The first person to use solar rigs is Alarian. Now, if you don't know who Alarian is, let me tell you. Alarian, or Ari for short, is the purple solar ranger, and she would find herself unwittingly drawn into an interdimensional war as an individual chosen by Zordon himself to stop the ambitions from the villains battling Rita's army of corrupted doppelgangers, which has been put in various points of history within the Power Rangers legacy. So now Rita got these doppelgangers all across the universe and someone has to stop them. So with the power of the Solarix, Alarian became the purple Solar Ranger, the first one, but she needed a team of heroes. So who did she call? Well, those people who don't have powers anymore. When Alarian was given the Solarix, she was unable to fully control its power. She eventually became able to tame it by sharing the power and burden amongst herself, her girlfriend Remy, and others who became the Solar Rangers. Now who's Remy? Remy, of course, is the orange Solar Ranger, the second original character here in the comics. I made a whole video talking about herself and the other orange rangers. Go check out that video. Remy first appeared when Alarian returned home from Pomethea and is concerned about her close friend. She then helps the rangers to confront a team of alien hunters called the Crimson Raiders and offers to help them on their journey. Now in the conclusion of Beyond the Grid, Remy becomes the orange solar ranger and joins Alarian on her quest to find other heroes to create a new ranger team to combat evil. So with the help of Valerian, Ari, the Solar X, and this new team of Rangers, we finally have the Solar Rangers. We got Andros as the Red Solar Ranger, Kimberly as the Pink Solar Ranger, Mike as the Black Solar Ranger, Heckle as the Blue Solar Ranger, Tanya as the Yellow Solar Ranger, Cameron Watanabe as the Green Solar Ranger, Valerian as the Violet Solar Ranger, and of course Remy as the Pink Solar Ranger. Now these guys have some really cool weapons, really cool stuff. They even have their own Megazord called the Solarix Megazord. Pretty original name, guys. It's a combination of Zords owned by the Solar Rangers. They look like mythical beasts. They look like something not of this universe, which really is what the Solar Rangers are. Something from outer space. Yeah, space. <laughs> I feel like Forze, Uchu Kita. Common Rider reference. They also have their own weapons, such as the Magna Sword, Power Clubs, Energy Bow, Electric Boomerang, Samurai Saber, Void Chakram, and just so much more. And as you can tell, these weapons are kind of references to their old weapons that they had in previous Ranger forms. And if you look at the individual Ranger suits for each of the Solar Rangers, you can tell that there's definitely some inspiration from their old Ranger forms. Like Andros, he definitely looks like a red in space Ranger. Cam, from Ninja Storm definitely looks like his old form right there and you can obviously see that with obviously with Heckle and his blue and red Tanya with the two little things on her head the visors there's like two you get what I'm saying and obviously Kimberly with her badass Ranger Slayer form and pink Ranger form it's still cool and that's basically it for the Solar Rangers. They had a lot of really cool adventures in Beyond the Grid, so make sure to go check out that comic book series if you haven't seen it already. It's pretty cool. The Solar Rangers are our first ever core team of seven, and they definitely look badass. One of the coolest Ranger teams that I've ever seen. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch you next time for another Power Rangers Explained. I'm Este. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, D Don Fuego. I'm also on Instagram, Not Don Fuego. Have a great day, and of course, and as always, Stay awesome, everybody.